See my nose right there? I just the cartilage is right gone. Crazy, huh? I'll explain to you why bare knuckle boxing is chess player and boxing is checkers. When I'm doing bare knuckle boxing, I have to hit you the right areas. If I don't, I'm gonna hurt my hand. If I hit you on the forehead up here, I could break my knuckles right there in your forehead. So bare knuckle box, I have a three inch gap from your eyebrow down to your right here. If I go any lower, I can split my hand in your teeth. I gotta aim right here, the jaw and there. I gotta do the body shots, more body shots. Body, right in here, the ribs, kidneys, liver. And that's why bare knuckle fights are a little bit slower paced because you're picking your shots more. If I see the right open in the right area, I'm gonna drop the bomb. Bah! Try to get out early, you know, walk away. It's always go, good to go home with no marks if you can. But if I put a hand wrap on and a glove, well, I'm punching hard as I can, and your head keeps getting rapidly smashed hard shots. The brain is gonna go back and forth. It's gonna, that's causes brain damage. In boxing, that's why fighters get pugilistic syndrome, punch drunk. In boxing, I think there's, I could be wrong, I, I think there's like 16 to 20 fighters every year die. Mm. So boxing is a more dangerous sport. Louisville Slugger? It was before the Louisville Slugger. A little extra security. Yeah, sometimes you go to those places, you gotta walk in with it. I went to the enemy's turf. I fought a fighter, Russian fighter, and I fights him. I'm, I'm boxing him about 10 minutes in the fight, and I drop him, he falls on the ground. They pick him up, and they give him water. I'm looking like, God, oh, come on, I'm boxing him. He throws a right hand, bang, left hook. He's down. He's down. His own guy has put a gun to him. I said, oh my God, I said, come on, this is a joke now. Was, come on, pal. They're screaming at him. They can't get him up. The young guy turns to me, brother, and he puts a gun to my head. And I'm sitting right there. I said, God bless us. I says, I, what are you doing? Anyway, he's shaking like this. One of the head guys run over. Danny runs over to the old man in the corner. They're talking, and the old man says, Pay that man his money, let him go. He won the fight. And brother, I'm walking out of there. You can ask him. And I didn't think I was gonna get out. Mm. Now that's the flip side of the corner. My goal is that I'm paving the road for all these fighters out there that are having a hard go in life. I want them to have a legitimate sanctioned sport where they can make a good living and support their family. We're right now, in talks with Kimball Slice. The ball's in his court, and, and if Kimball Slice don't ever fight Bobby Gunn, he will forever hinder his legacy. Because for seven years now, I've been after him, haven't I? Seven years documented proof on the internet. You can look at the dates. There's no man born of a mother that I've ever took a back step to. And they want to fight me, put it on the table, and I'll do the fight. <laughs>